Hello all, welcome all of you on this first class of uh, AutoCAD 2023 from uh, beginner to pro. In this first class, we will first learn the uh, graphical user interface, which is GUI of AutoCAD. And in the previous and the next session, we will just continue and we will become from beginner, basic level, we will start from the scratch and then we will become the pro in the AutoCAD 2023. We'll be using the AutoCAD 2023, but you can apply this concept to any AutoCAD. It will be valid the same way. So before starting, we will just have the this preview. This is the first window, which uh, when you open the AutoCAD, you will recognize. Here we can see that we have some option like open the previous drawing, start the new drawing. Here we have recent work, which we have done, is already shown here. Here, here are some announcement and uh, some new updates, which AutoCAD uh, gives time to time. So before starting, we first have to click on new. In the new section, when you click on new section, it will just bring you to that page. But before also, there is some setting I want to show you. If we again go to the same previous window, just click on start. If we click on this button, new, here are some templates. So what is template? Uh, template are those settings, uh, means uh, if you work on uh, MM, you should uh, select one template which uh, particularly work on MM. If you went uh, work on uh, inch or fit or inches, there is some template which work on fit or inches. So that template is designed so that we have to get uh, or start our work by using the same template. So before starting AutoCAD, we should keep in mind that in which unit we are going to work. So in order to see all the template, we click on browse template. Here we see the list of different template means ACAD. ACAD ISO, that uh, ACAD 3D Tutorial I, these are the template for mainly use when we are going to for printing purpose. There is already mentioned uh, table and uh, leaders. We don't have to create it from the scratch. We just click on ACAD ISO to start our drawing and uh, it will just follow this uh, drawing region. So this is our drawing region. As you can see, it's a white color. In some AutoCAD case, uh, it will be a blue color or gray color. It depends on you, what setting you have to place. So in order to make this color white or gray, we just type OP enter. The window will open. Here we have see the color region. We click on color and here is on the color. As we can see that where case we can see set any color we want. Uh, if you want a default color, we can click on the restore classic color. It will restore the basic color of that AutoCAD, as you can see. So now let us begin the general graphical user interface of our AutoCAD. If you go to the top, here we can see the icon of ACAD, which is AutoCAD. We click here and we just see the general setting related to the AutoCAD software. We will see the new, uh, to start new drawing, we will see the open, to open the previous drawing, we will click on save, to save our drawing and we click on save as. So what is the difference between save and save as? In save, we just uh, save our current drawing. In save as, we can rename it and we can just make a two drawing of the same drawing but having different name. So in save as, we can just rename our drawing. Import, which is used to import different object from different software like uh, drawing or PDF export, which is used to export our drawing to different software like uh, uh, IGS, OBJ, FBS, etc. In the print section, we will print our drawing to final PDF, JPG or whatever. Uh, drawing utility, we will have drawing setting like drawing property, units, uh, or it. We will go to in different in deep, but here we will just give the brief introduction of GUI. And after that, there is a close for current drawing or all drawing. If we click on option, we will just see the uh, that option, which we have typed using the OP enter. Here we have seen the all the options related to our drawing, My means color, that uh, icon which we have available here, the size of icon, Click on close and we can just. After that, there is an option of a home or there is called this region which we have seen here. This is the ribbon tab. So ribbon tab is used to uh, create uh, or use uh, all the uh, tools related to AutoCAD are available here in the ribbon tab. So in ribbon tab, it is divided in sub different category based on which uh, different category have different tool. So in the home button, we will see that all the category combine into one. We see their home, we have draw tool to make a different drawing command. There is modified tool to modify that uh, draw command means we have to scale, we can scale it, copy it. We can uh, 
apply fillet also we can just explode it in annotation we can just type the text dimension that leader that table also in the layer panel we will just type the arrange our all the drawing into different category layer what is layer and what is the block we will just uh, uh, see in different property in the property panel we will just see that uh, the property of a uh, different unit how we can just apply that how we can just uh, seen and so uh, before that we will just uh, before uh, going further i'll just give you the brief intro what is the layer and block we will just cover this in detail but uh, from now i'll just give you brief intro about the what is layer and what is it so if you go to an, uh, this drawing you will just for that we will just open i'll open just uh, previous drawing which uh, already work in on layer panel if you see here there is a drawing of uh, a plan view of any apartment if you see there is a color dedicated to every element uh, is thought if you see that color is a layer but it doesn't mean that everything which is color is a layer the layer is defined to categorize object into different category if you see here this all region are comes under furniture layer if you click here we see that all the category we have created depends on all the layer we have the layer for furniture we have the layer for profile we have the layer for walls we have the layer for windows we have the layer for door because of this we can easily categorize our drawing into special uh, category to say go deep uh, to this uh, concept so after that there is our screen as you can see it is black color previously it was white color we have made this to default uh, black color it's a drawing area whatever we draw here we will draw here okay so it's an infinite screen it doesn't depend on whatever the size of your project your model your drawing you can draw anything from a small screw to the big car to the big uh, building etc it can be drawn from one one by one scale to here drawing also beside that there is a one view cube here also in a 2d portion we don't require this cube uh, very much it is a uh, set to top view because we are working on orthographic views and orthographic views are mainly used for the top view uh there is option of uh, that uh, position that north east south west to give the more accurate position of where the project or where that has been the north view south view east view or that here we see that different navigation toolbar so how we can use that we just see the quick preview if the uh, we can we don't have to use this very much because i'll just tell the shortcut for each and every navigation but still you want to know that but all, all this i'll just give you brief intro about all this if you see this this is the pan symbol pan is used to drag our drawing area suppose i am this uh, in this region and why i want to drag our drawing to this region so how we can do that we can just click on this pan press and hold left mouse button and drag it to there as we can see now we can see how easily we can drag our drawing so this is the first tool which is pan but we can also use the shortcut for the pan which is press and hold middle mouse button when you press and hold middle mouse button then again you can activate the pan as long as you press and holding the pan will activate and soon as as soon as you release the key the pan will deactivate so this is the shortcut for pan okay another one is for uh, maximize different views we can maximize all zoom on we can uh, zoom to extend we can just uh, zoom in real time means press and hold it will zoom press and hold go backward it will zoom out so on this thing we can just use it from here or we can use it by mouse also uh, move our roller in backward direction it will be zoom out so zoom in roller in forward zoom out roller in backward so this is our zoom in zoom out uh, pan we have already told press and hold middle mouse button so how we can just set the zoom to extend zoom to extend means whenever we are just zooming or panning uh in some cases we lost our drawing where it is we don't know but we can still zoom to extend by using this key zoom to extend or either we can click on top it's a shortcut for zoom to extend which is a uh, press uh, on this uh, top of view cube whenever we click on the top of view cube it will automatically zoom to extend either you can just uh, go from here or either can you can just go from here so this is zoom to extend after that we just move to below section we see that there is a small portion this portion is the command panel of autocad command panel is used to type different command for different uh, 
टूल्स और फॉर वी यूज इन ऑटो कैट वी विल जस्ट प्रोवाइड डिफरेंट शॉर्टकट इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन विल यू कैन जस्ट नोट डाउन एनी वेयर फॉर डिफरेंट शॉर्टकट एंड एज सुन एज अवर क्लास वी कैन वी विल जस्ट प्रोवाइड डिफरेंट शॉर्टकट ऑल्सो सो दिस इज यूज बिकॉज वेन एवर वी आर हैविंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम द प्रो इन ऑटो कैट वी विल जस्ट यूज अ कमांड मैथड बिकॉज इट विल मेक अवर वर्क मोर एफिशियंट एंड फास्ट एज कम्पेयर टू मैनुअल क्लिकिंग एंड जस्ट सेलेक्टिंग सो दिस इज यूज फॉर टाइपिंग डिफरेंट कमांड फॉर डिफरेंट टूल्स आफ्टर डेट विफ यू गो टू मूव डाउन हेयर वी कैन सी डेट डिफरेंट बटन आर देयर दिस इज कॉल्ड द स्टेटस बार ऑफ ऑटो कैड और वी कैन जस्ट कॉल इट द ड्रॉइंग सेटिंग और ड्राफ्टिंग सेटिंग फॉर ऑटो कैड दीज आर सम स्पेशल सेटिंग विच वी यूज फॉर मॉडलिंग एनी थिंग और इन स्पेशल केसेस सो वाट आर दी स्पेशल सेटिंग वी विल डिस्कस इन इट डीप बट फॉर क्विक इंट्रो आई जस्ट सो यू सम फ्यू सेटिंग्स लाइक दिस सेटिंग विच इज यूज फॉर अनेबलिंग एट डिसबलिंग दिस ग्राफ uh this setting if we on and if we draw any line it will automatically draw in a straight line we don't have to manually worry about line is going straight or not we just open this command which is the ortho mode if we disable it it will again go anywhere it will okay so these are the few tool which we have seen so this is the general gui graphical user interface of autocad in next class we will see how we can start our first drawing or how we can activate tools so thanks all uh wait for the next class